Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's start making our cork texture. So I've loaded up my object already. I'm in the shading tab. I've got viewport shading enabled and a basic principled shader applied. So let's take a look at the color. For that, we're gonna press Shift A and search for a color ramp. Let's pop that in here. And we are going to change the mode to hue saturation, uh, HSL, sorry. And we're gonna go counterclockwise. And that's gonna blend between the two colors without us having to put in lots of individual colors. I'm going to move this second one to 0.75 change the color of the first one, change to 0 0.05 for the hue, 0 0.815 for the saturation and 0 0.005 for the value. For this second one, I'm going to change to 0 0.075 for the hue, 0 0.815 for the saturation, and 0 0.650 for the value. Now, in reality, I actually wanted to change those around, so let's flip that color ramp, put that back over, and put this second one to where I wanted it to be. Got there in the end. Color from that is gonna go in the base color. And that's a nice uniform sort of color, but we need to mess that up now. So we're gonna get a Voronoi texture. The distance is gonna go in the factor from the color ramp, and that's kind of interesting already. Uh, we are going to then get another color ramp. Flip those colors around. And bring both in. Let's go with 0.2 and 0.8. We take the distance from the Voronoi into the factor of that color ramp. Just below this, we're going to add a noise texture. I'm going to set the scale at 3, detail at 10, and roughness at 1. We now need to mix those two together with a mix RGB. So the color ramp goes in color one and the noise texture color goes in color two. We're then gonna plug that into the normal of the principled shader, but we need to translate that into normal data. So we'll grab a bump node and chuck that in there. We'll leave the strength at one and the distance at one, but we're gonna move this to the height instead of the normal. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna take that off to the right. Then we're going to, let's just duplicate this rather than search for another one. Take the position from that into the vector of the first texture node Change this to smooth F1. Change the smoothness down here to 0.25 and the randomness to 0.8. And you can see we've got this kind of cell structure going on already here. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is add a noise texture in here, a texture coordinate in here and use the object data in the vector. Change the scale to 10 and the detail to 15 and the roughness to 0 0.6. Then take the color from that. Hmm, actually, I need to mix that with something else. What do I need to mix it with? 
itself. Okay, so mix RGB, that's going to go in the middle there. Take the color into color one, object data into color two, and then plug that mix shader into the vector of this second Voronoi texture. And we can see that's already really, really good. Now we need to add a math node down here to do some calculations for us. And we need to change it from add to power. I'm going to set the base at 10 and the exponent at 1.7. We need to plug this value into a couple of things. First is the scale on this Voronoi texture. And the second is the scale on the other Voronoi texture. Okay, so I'm going to change the mix over here to 0 0.6. Change the roughness in the main shader to 0.35. And the other thing that we need to change is this mix right towards the end of the stack to 0.95. And that kind of gives us our cork texture. So what I'm going to do is send this off to render and let, remind, rem, let me remind you I'm using the cycles render engine with 1024 samples. Obviously play around, see what you get. Playing around is the best way of learning Blender. Okay, in actual fact, I think I might drop that roughness down a bit more because it's got quite a bit of a shine on it. And I don't want that. Let's drop the specular down as well. In fact, tiny, the tiniest bit of specular entirely. And the roughness down to 0 0.1. Let's try that again. And there we have our cork texture. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching.